Hello everybody and welcome. To all of those people who are new too, hello and welcome. Um, if you're new, I just want to say thank you for coming and joining the family. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button because I see you're there. I see you're there, but you don't hit that button. Hit the button. Just hit it. Go ahead. My cat is behind me smacking my leg. <laughs> anyway, so I said when I bought these that I would do a review video on them. I've been using these for a month now, solid. I have no other pots and pans. Oh, that's a lie. I have a few other um, ones. I have some tea fowl frying pans. I could, I could take them or leave them. Um, <laughs> honestly. Um, but anyway, as many of you know, or some of you don't know, I only cooked with cast iron for, uh, I want to say for at least, hmm, I want to say 10 years. I cooked exclusively with cast iron because I learned with gas, it was just not worth my effort to buy pans like this because they would warp, they would just, um, they would burn things. Um, I just, I didn't have luck. So I was like, bite the bullet, learn to cook with cast iron, and that was what I did. Um, now the reason I got rid of it was because, well I didn't get rid of it, I actually sold it, um, is because I have a glass cooker. Now a lot of people are going to say, but Tina, you can still cook with cast iron on a cooker, on a, you know, a glass top. And yes, I'm fully aware of this, but I also know that I am not the only person in my house that cooks. Um, my, all my children cook because I make dinner. That is the only meal I make. Um, my kids have to fend for themselves, breakfast and dinner. My kids are also older. My youngest is 12. Um, now with cast iron, you don't want to bang it on this. You don't want to slide it. You know, you, you want to make sure you're careful with it. Let's face it, kids and husbands are not exactly careful. So I did my research and I ended up by buying these. These are the Heritage Rock ceramic um, pots and pans. Now the reason I went with ceramic is because, well number one, I'm actually allergic to stainless, I'm allergic to nickel and nickel is in stainless steel. Um, so I try to avoid stainless steel pots and pans if I can. Uh, certain things, yes I do have them because I can't avoid it. My battery's flashing, I better change my battery. I'll be right back. Okay, now you're changed, now you're fresh, now you're happy. Okay, so back to this. So, <clears throat> I went with the ceramic one because it has that ceramic coating on it to seal it and to keep it so it's safe for me to use. Um, now, with that being said, you, I did have to go and buy some proper utensils for it because again, I used cast iron before, so I now have a silicone whisk. Yes, so anytime I'm doing a cooking video, you won't hear the tink, 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 You'll hear, you know, well, this will be a little bit tink, tink, tink. But it's not as bad as a metal one. Um, and I also, because again, my kids are the ones that cook, like they do cook as well, I went and I got some silicone covered tongs. Tong, there we go. Um, why? Because my, my one son, yeah, that's so cool, right? You push it in and Anyway, um, it's simple things that amuse me, okay? Seriously. Um, but anyway, so my son was cooking some spaghetti. And I noticed, like, I heard this horrid noise. And I couldn't figure out what it was. So I come in the kitchen, and here he is. He's using, like, tongs like this and scraping the bottom of the, um, of the pot to get the last little bit of the spaghetti out. And it's like, <laughs> so... I went and I bought those ones so the kids can just use those ones from now on. But anyway, so these pots are amazing. They are seriously amazing. They clean like there is no tomorrow. And seriously, okay guys, just so you guys know, this is not sponsored. I bought, well my husband bought these. I didn't buy it, my husband bought them. Um, we waited for a awesome sale to come up because these are regular, like this set that I have here, you don't see everything. Um, I have three saucers a boiling pot, a, I call this just a frying pan, I think this is referred to as like a wok frying pan, and then a little eight inch frying pan. Now this was a bonus part of the deal, 
Um, originally, this set costs a little over $700, not including this. This frying pan alone is $100. Um, this was a bonus, so we didn't even pay for it. Um, but, so we paid, I think it was like $300 total with the tax. I don't even think it was a full $300. Um, so if you just check your Canadian Tire flyer, that's where we bought this from. It's Canadian Tire. I think that's where you buy them from. Um, Amazon might have them too for all I know. I don't know. Um, just wait for the sales and you can get a really good price on these. But anyway, so... These things are amazing. They clean up like a dream. I have yet to have anything stick on them. And we have made spaghetti in them. We have fried vegetables in them. I have made potatoes in them. I, you name it. And if anybody knows what it's like, I made some mashed potatoes um, a bit ago for a shepherd's pie. So it was a big pot. Like I had this, this pot here full of mashed potatoes, okay? And then I was doing stuff like after I got them all made up, I always got doing stuff, didn't even think about it. So the leftover mashed potatoes, so you know that stuff around the size of the, pa the pan was in there and I seen that and I'm like, oh no, oh no. Because if anybody knows what it's like to try and clean that stuff off, it's like concrete, like you're like chiseling at it. Um, not this, not with these pans. This, all I did was I ran it under some hot water and took my um, dish towel wiped it right off came right off it was like whoa okay seriously I am sold I am now sold <laughs> um cooking rice in these two is a dream just make sure you put on the right side burner I'm learning that um but seriously guys these pots and pans if you can get your hands on these I highly recommend it and they cook a lot like cast iron which I think is pretty cool um so it wasn't a huge learning curve for me to learn to cook with these but there you go they are slick to clean they are nice to cook with i have not burnt a single thing because honestly it's a little hard to maybe you could if you like walked away from something for quite some time um i tend not to do that but um yes i can honestly say I love my ceramic cookware. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I definitely made the right decision by going with the ceramic. Um, so if you have any questions for me, leave them down below. And I'm gonna break my kitchen because I haven't broke it in yet. <laughs> bad joke. Um, <laughs> I was like, total bad joke there. Um, but anyway, so I hope I answered some questions on it, on this. I probably didn't, I really don't know. But anyway, they're amazing, I love them. I think they're fantastic. I definitely would keep my eye out if I needed more. I would definitely keep my eye out for this particular brand to go on sale. Like I said, Canadians, keep an eye on your Canadian tire flyer. Um, but anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you again really soon, <laughs> bye.